All right, guys, we're going into EPT Asia. And we have, it's number 145. Let me get my ESL stuff up here. Let me get the bracket. We just had the bracket. All right, let me go back. Let me add it to the annoying bot. Oh, come on. I'm not authenticated. All right, guys, I'll see you. Ah, oh, fuck. Bracket. Shit. Oops. Wrong fucking one. No. It is classic. Versus Bion. You know, if Yeti got his goddamn forms to me, we'd be able to do it. Classic versus Bion. I'm too lazy to update the players on here, guys. I am so sorry for that, but we had to add a delay. But we're going to cast our mode. A bunch of you guys might have left. I don't know, but this is going to be a banger. It's Classic versus Bion. I believe we're already on the semifinals. And I guess uh, you got me casting. I will probably have a long stream because, well, we didn't have much. Uh, we woke up late. And it's all hecked up here. I think the score is just the best of three here. And yeah, this is a semifinal this early into it. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner, Moondance. In the red, representing Shopify Rebellion, it is Bian. And his opponent in the bottom right now, representing Prep Esports. The team of Han Mono, it is classic in the blue. And yeah, let's see what we got. It looks like a pretty standard opener from both. Uh, that said. All right, I'm just making a tweet. All right, let's. And there we go. We are live with EPT Asia now. Looks like it's a 1-1-1 opener from Bion. He's not sending an SCV out, so we know it's nothing cheeky, but classic. All the wiser to Bion. He's looking for a proxy or X. Rather than scouting across the map. He knows his opponent pretty well. We all know Bion likes his proxies from time to time. And bear with me as I get into OBS mode. We got everything rolling for EPT Asia number 145. It's a $400 weekly, as you know. 
Everything's going to be walled off. I think it's just going to be a factory expand. I don't think it's anything super cheeky from Bion. Aside from a 1-1-1 Reaper already on the way out, of course. Nexus and Pylon going down for Classic. No, you know, proxy bunker. Shenanigans out of Bion. And the Reaper is, uh, yeah, he's just uh, shit collected over to go into the natural. Uh, Cybercore just finishing up. We're just at, oh, Bion going two Reapers. He's going Reaper Alien? Or is he going to go to a Mind Drop? It's Bion, so either could be the case. Classic has this rally down to the natural. Oh, he's long distance mining. Oh, is Classic fixing it? No, yeah, he's railing it over, so it buys him some time for the Reaper. Adept is out in time for the Reaper. Reaper not finding any value. Oh, look at that shade. That is beautiful. Classic jumps right on top of the Reaper. Let's heck and go. Oops. We're getting in caster mode. I'm sitting a little weird, so bear with me. We're shifting gears from Ladder Dave to... EPT Asia, Dave. is a double Reaper opener. So this could be a, a little bit annoying to Classic. He's going into three adapts. Interesting. Uh, does have a Stargate opener. Okay. Yeah, it is going to be a Stargate opener. Okay, Adept Shade is going to reveal that there is a Hellion three. Ad I actually like three adapts against this. Like some people disagree. Shield batteries there. Oh, he does take a little bit of health damage to the Adept. But the Adept's run out of that. Hellion is almost dead. However, the Reapers are going to debate over, and guess what? The Adept's going to come over, uh, shade down, and actually there's going to be two Adepts fighting us. Three Adepts up. Oh, I love this shade micro. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. One worker for two Reapers. I'd say that's worth it. The Hellion took a lot of damage. It's not going to be repaired. Okay, now it's going to be repaired. It's going to be a Widow Mine drop with Marine Foul up. It's a Phoenix opener. I like the Phoenix opener from Classic. He could still take a third base if he wanted to, but he's going to double gas. Classic is prepared for a drop from Bion. Bion is a little predictable sometimes, I feel like, but he knows so many builds. Just to toss the general to win? Yeah. Bion is so good, though. I, I really... Bion's still one of my favorite players. People can disagree. Whatever. We all got our opinions. Looks like it might be Phoenix Charge. No! Hold the phones. It is Phoenix Colossus. He's just dropping another gate for some uh, gateway units if it is a two-base all-in, which it looks like it could be a two-base all-in follow-up. It is Vion after all. Okay. Not quite prepared for the Widow Mine drop. I think he is going to change this using Widow Mines defensively. Where did he put the other one? All right, let's see if we can find this. I heard another one. Hmm, I can't even see the Widow Mines. Anyway, Classic is going out for... Oh, there it is in the mineral line. Yeah. Classic does scout. It takes a little chisel from the Marines. Oh, does he go pick this off? He gets the SCV, but he has to be careful of the Viking. That is three. Oh, yeah, now the Cyclone's there. He has to be careful. Oh, he's going to lose a Phoenix from the lock-on of the Cyclone. I think this is being a little greedy from... He should have went for the Viking. The hell with it. Okay, he is going to... And then he's going to pick this. Oh, cancels... My god, this is really daring from our Protoss player. But guess what? Oh my god, gets the Viking. Three workers did lose a Phoenix. He's going to recall them. Has another Phoenix in production. Oh, another Immortal in production. He stopped Phoenixes. I don't know about this other... Well, two Immortals could be good against a push, but he could, st could have started a Cyclone... Or a Cyclone Colossus. Going to be a double eBay follow-up and a third CC. He's going to finish for Beyond, but that delay was actually nice for Classic because he's later for the build. So, yeah, that's actually very good stuff. Okay, now he's going to do a Twilight Forge. So he can get those upgrades up, get into charge. Presumably, he's going to get into charge with this. Oh, he's pushing across the map. A bold move. Uh, let's take a look. Stim is not done. Stim hasn't even started. The other racks is going. It's mostly uh, Protoss mech units reveals. Well, there's no combat shields. There's not a lot done. So, actually, I don't hate this push. Provided the Colossi comes with it. I probably should... I would like some more Phoenixes in production, but he's going to saturate his bases. He only has two gates, so he's relying heavily on Colossi and stuff. Extended Thermal Lance, 75% done. Plus one ground weapons in charge started with Stim. And 1-1 for our Terran player, Beyond. He's going to get his tech lab going. 
And this looks like it's going to be the start to an engagement, but the Siege tank, oh, Classic has to disengage. He's going to chisel away at the front line, but he's taking tank shots. Yeah, back off. He's almost taking hull damage on the Immortals. He took some on, well, it's just the depths, but still. I, actually, he could have tried to shade in and be annoying, just to be ever-present. Okay, he's going to build another Phoenix, finally. Is going to extend Thermal Ants and Charge. Has another Nexus going down for a fourth, but no more. Okay, there's two more gates. It's only four gates, though. He could start uh, popping out a couple Zealots. Wouldn't hate to see that. And does he only have two Colossi? Two Immortals, two Colossi, two Stalkers. Four Phoenixes a Sentry. Yeah, he needs to get some more stuff. He's getting a Templar. Just a lot of tech, but not a lot of gates. Okay, there's the gate drop. He has dropped four gates, five gates, six, seven, eight. So he's going to be at, uh, yeah, he's going to be at 10 gate production. And then this is going to hit like a sack of bricks, but it is going to be 1-1. One, one. Stim is going to finish, but this is a nasty drop from Beyond. But did the Phoenixes catch it? He's going out of path. He wants to go catch. Oh, no, the Phoenixes are not going to catch it. He really needs the Phoenixes in this fight. Not much here. It's not an Artosis pile on here. This is, however, everything is out of place. Classic doesn't have an observer over here. Doesn't have a pylon out to the side. The phoenixes were being a little greedy. And the drop may just be scouted as the gateway comes in. Let's take a look in Classic's vision. Oh, yeah, he's... I think he just saw... But he's going to lose the Templar archives. Recall is forced. Nice catch if that's all he gets. But the army... The Sim City's working against him a little bit. There's not a lot to contend with this. Do the phoenixes jump on top of this? No. Still not a bad catch for Beyond at the same time. Could have been far worse. Third Colossi going down. It's double forge going into Blink. Lots of charge, lots warping in. Yeah, but there's not a lot that shoots up other than the Phoenixes. And, well, with the Raven 2 and an armor missile could be rough. He did manage to eke out one Archon, though. It should be noted. That's actually better than nothing. Uh, Gravitic Drive being researched. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, Phoenixes are going to make their way back home. Let's take a look at the losses. There were 10 workers down behind this in total so the phoenix harass which we missed because the crazy drop was pretty good for our protoss player he has an observer by the way mine wow beyond actually not on top of the observer game because of this but the raven should scout this as beyond probably he's going to posture to take yeah he's got his fourth cc started classic looks like he's going to set up a fifth all right protoss going into plus two ground weapons and plus one armor beyond obviously going to have the uh, start to the Upgrade advantage, but it's all right for a Protoss player. He's going to try to get a drop in himself. Nothing really exposed here. Actually, if this is scouted... Oh, the three racks. Now there is a missile turret going in to be started eventually. Is that one of these guys? I wonder which one's going to make it. Looks like it's something else. Observer does go down. Lots of tanks from beyond. Holy heck and heck. That is a good defensive position, but at the same time... Um, the drop could reveal this. Oh, Widow Mine there. That's like, oh no, the Widow Mine is scouted, but we almost lose. We almost lose it. Oh my god, this push though, that multi prong attack from Classic's pretty nice. Guardian Shield is activated. One interference matrix on the Colossi and the Zealots running him amok in the main base, but that is going to force some of the army to go and engage it. The MP has landed, but Zealots doing the work. Eight, nine, ten workers. He saves three zealots and still has some more going down uh, in army value. Beyond obviously insanely ahead in the army supply. Well, not insanely. Now it's evening up. Uh, we're having some pretty crazy upgrades in production at Dark Shrine, Fleet Beacon, Stargate. So that's double Stargate and a fifth Nexus going down for classic. Beyond 69 workers. Nice. What happened to my wrist? My wrist is feeling better today, actually. For some reason, I think it was arthritis acting up, guys. I did do an insane grind uh, before, but for whatever reason, my wrist is feeling better. Oh, another missile turret going to be attempted here. All right, let's see if he gets it. There's one going down. Does he get a warp in? He sees one's going to finish up here. Oh, boy. Look at that. It's actually getting some damage done, being annoying, keeping being busy. But this tank formation, the ghost, this is crazy. There are, there is a disruptor, just a disruptor. Ah, disruptor, as Bang would say. See, the second I added a delay, everybody was gone. Gene Sim and Pog Squirrel, indeed. This is a Pog Squirrel 
battle going on here. Beyond just trying to hold everything. Disruptors, uh, not really doing much of anything. But 15 workers fell for Beyond. And guess what? The War Prism somehow is still alive. Looks like a Supply Depot is going to fall. That's a top-hatted one. But Beyond still has it's tons of supply. Enhanced Shockwave going to be completed. Our fifth base going to be finished for Protoss. He's just starting to saturate it. Let's take a look at the saturations. He could fix this immediately uh, once he thinks about it. Taking a six base behind it. Shadow Stride being research. Carriers in production. Third Stargate. 3-3 three, three on the way for Protoss and Terran. Beyond and Classic both going into it. But Protoss is going to have an upgrade advantage after all this to make matters worse. Now there's carriers coming out. Uh, and this is going to be... Let's take a look at how many Marauders. It's 18 Marauders and 5 tanks. That's going to eat up some supply. So... A lot of goes could be good, but truthfully, the carriers might actually do a decent job because of the marine count at 31. Zealots, yeah, there's not a lot here. Oh, yeah, this is mostly big tank units for a Protoss player. Nothing, not a lot in terms of gateway. Oh, the disruptors. Oh, my God, he got some beautiful connections. But all the stuff that shoots the Vikings is going down other than one Archon to fight it. It is going to be enough to fend it out in a stalker and a sentry. But all the shields are gone on these units. I wouldn't hate a recall when he disengages. Uh, he should just go back to a shield battery. Actually, he doesn't have a lot of shield batteries. He has some static over here. Would like to see some shield batteries. He's got some decent positioning with the phoenixes. He's got, ooh, the classic carrier skin from uh, Brood Warren. Fifth base is going down for being going to be a planetary. Did take a little bit of a bruising. How you doing, Grape Dactyl? We are doing okay. Six base going down for Beyond, mind you. Just another planetary. We do have the T production ability for Classic, who has an insanely larger army and can probably start... Oh, no! The speed prism is going to go to its instant death. Not how we wanted it. Yeah, that's not the fight he wants to take. He should probably debate over to the left. Uh, if I was going to go fight him, I would take it on the, the orbital side because it's a little safer. I mean, technically, he could be, but he's going to try to crack a planetary with this. Eating EMPs. We got Vikings coming up. Did we get some good disruptors? One zoning disruptor doesn't kill his zealots. Gets one ghost. That's about it. Carriers have arrived. Blink stalkers blinking forward almost into tank fire. But they just get the zealots. All right, that's it. Losing that war prism was rough for a classic, but he's still fine. Going into plus three armor and... Plus one shields with uh, error upgrades. Both of them. Uh, he's going into 1 1 for his. Oh, actually, it's 2 1 for his uh, carriers. The Phoenixes have finally chiseled out, but Terran players just massing ghosts and Marines. Probably not a bad idea. And probably getting out some Vikings here and there when he can. Yeah, he's going to start some more Vikings up. This is a pretty smart move. Realistically, they're both. Uh, Ooh, Disruptor Drop going to be attempted into the Planetary Fortress. But look at Beyond is just so good at defensive positions. I think he's okay. Uh, do we have high sec auto tracking yet? Because it's getting into late game tech. Yeah, he's actually researching the Steel for his bunkers in high sec. Oh, no. That was a horrible move for Classic. He just lost. <laughs> he lost the Speed Prism again, but this time with two Disruptors in it. That's a massive catch for Beyond. He should. He got a little greedy. I think if he just dropped it here, he could have got a couple Novas off. Maybe even killing the tank instead of the other stuff. And then, like, picked up. Maybe attempted to drop for some army uh, over there. And uh, he could have went another direction. Beyond dropping three CCs behind this classic. Not going to take a seventh base. This game is uh, rapidly approaching the end game. We got Storm coming. We got... Observer speed coming for our Protoss. We got ship weapons going for Beyond and another armory. Beyond is at plus one ship weapons. Once we're at plus two, we don't see a fusion core going down for advanced ballistics, even though it's Sky Toss. Uh, well, a big component of Sky Toss. I would really like to see Liberators and advanced ballistics just in case of a transition because we have so many gateways uh, and we only have one rope. Oh, no, it is double robo because it was the Phoenix Colossus opener. Yeah, we could get Blink DTs out. We've not seen any Blink DT harass from Classic. Sensor Tower goes down, and Cyanic Storm's going to finish, but the High Templar go down. Does the Nova catch anything? Oh, no. First one catches nothing. Interceptor's trying to do the work. Did we get any Disruptor shots? Nice Storm drop. 
Oh, that was a juicy storm drop, though. Army supply still in favor of Classic. Who is... Beyond has 85 workers. He might want to consider throwing some of these workers away now that he has four more orbitals. He could start expanding and taking bases, but he's keeping them for scans, for DTs, etc. There's a proxy pylon for Classic. Um, these are up in batteries and cannons. He's going to try to and just try to make a tough wall to break, but that's a very Artosis pylon. Artosis called. He wants his pylon back, and yeah, this is going to be immediately destroyed. Well, some of it is, and uh, the, the probe's still alive, though. He's going to have some of his static up. Shields EMP'd from the batteries already, though. It's one pylon. Classic's economy is insane. He actually has such a huge bank, but Bion has the ability to mule like crazy. And honestly, his gas bank's huge, so he can reinvest in units. It's double star for it for the moment. He's going to be at plus two ship weapons in a minute, but the upgrades are kind of getting in here a bit. Our Protoss player has to be careful. Has the warp prism with gravitic drive with high Templar in it. Nice little fortified frontline proxy or classic, but I don't like this Artosis pylon with it. He's just doing it there to be annoying and maybe try to engage, but Beyond has high sec, he has Neo Steel. Uh, it's gonna make this planetary a little tankier, etc. And bunkers, obviously, when he, if we get there. Nice storm drops again, but the warp prism goes down to the missile turrets and the Vi uh, Vikings too. Oh no, okay, nice storm. A Little bit of a rough engagement from Classic, but the Vikings and the Ghost are going to make this a problem. Classic is... Now he's getting into some Tempest. I don't want to eat some Tempest in this case. Because this is a very fortified Turtle Terran. This is like watching Bang and Terran watching Beyond right now. Uh, do we have some Tempest coming out? In a bit, but he's getting tectonic destabilizers. He's forgetting his 3 3 for his air or his whatever upgrades are remaining. It's shields and air armor. Our Protoss player, that is. He does have a fifth base, uh, seventh base rather. He's going for an eighth uh, base again. Classic is taking more of the map, but Beyond has enough CCs where he could actually take like a base over here, a base over here. He can start getting more sensor towers after, but he's got to watch it. His income is a little rough. There, we're going to start seeing some SCVs thrown away. Beyond really needs to throw some SCVs away at some point because... Oh, the Jebate. He's getting some free damage on the Photon Cannons. The EMPs are going to help clean this right up. But that's not it's not free damage, but it's going to save army supply for Classic. Shield battery is actually helping a bit, but there's so many ghosts. EMPs for day. There's a nuke. On its way for Beon, he did have it finish up. So we can start seeing Beon going for some nukey boys. There it is. It's the SCB dumpage. Two Immortals. Okay, he's trading out the Immortals for kind of random attacks into the double planetary over here. That's interesting. SCB's going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to go try to... They're actually getting some... Uh, potentially getting some value. Okay, Disruptor's going to help clean this up. Nope. Oh, my God. Did they get a Disruptor? That'd be hilarious. The two Tempests could, you know, help out, but the big fight's going on. It's the last of Classic's worries. And uh, Nuke is going down. Oh! Classic does retreat at the last second, and that is a lot of dead static. Let's see. Bada bing, bada boom. First nuke down, workers fighting stalkers. Beyond actually getting some good value over here. Plus one, or plus three air armor is on its way for our Protoss player. Who is going to lose his base? My opinion, he should have taken this one. Disruptor is trying to find some value, but won't. He should have taken that base. It's a little, this is so exposed, and Beyond's like got a great siege position. Uh, classic, is he going to yellow over? This is such a crazy game. Blink DTs be damned because there's just CCs everywhere. There's missile turrets. Actually, I still think he could get a snipe on that base with Blink DTs, but his army supply has been maxed onto the Protoss Death Ball, which is... Mm, there's so many ghosts. Like, you can see the power of EMP. It's careful and gate. Like, both players have to treat this very carefully. Storms? Oh, no storms! No storms for you, but nice zoning, Nova. 
Carrier uh, interceptor count's pretty good. Protoss is actually going to start scaring this back. A lot of EMPs have been, or rather, energy's been taken care of. Viking starting to decrease in numbers, but it's seven. Viking Ghost uh, is the production for Beyond behind us getting some Marauders because he sees their Stalkers. But there's no DTs. At some point here, I would like to see some Blink DTs. I know there's a lot of missile turrets, but they can really chisel away at stuff a lot faster just from the damage they do. And not first planetary sniping for literally the engagement on the army. The stock here is going to be helpful with the carriers and the Tempest against <clears throat> the air. This base is barely stand. He should just sack the base and take another one. It's not like Classic doesn't have the bank. He's floating. My God, there's just so much money here. Classic taking this base. Hell, he could take that base too. Bian going to take the whole side of the map. We're getting pretty even here. Bian can take this base as well. He's got CCs for days. Planetaries defensively. Missile turrets. The missile turret line actually cost Bian quite a bit. Uh, but the trades are pretty close. Now we're going to have to see, even with his bank. Yeah, Bian income, income wise is just way down. Classic is, okay. He's starting to increase it. That was a mule drop right there. DTs. Trying to get find their way in here. Oh, no, they're scouted, but Classic's not paying attention. He needs to get the hell out of there. Loses a couple. DTs are expensive, man. But meanwhile, Classic's going to go put the siege on. Get a disruptor, kill the tank, kill some missile turrets. There's a lot of planetary fortresses over here. Uh, one does... Oh, no, it was finished. Actually, that's an orbital. Okay, Vikings going to make their way back. Do we see a blink? from the stalker oh no he can't because there's a planetary right there nice storm but carriers are going down army supplies starting to trade in favor of Bion. Bion making big push over here but this base is mined out some static gonna help a little bit but not really mo do much these are full energy medevacs and classic now has to be careful he is down in supply i wouldn't hate a recall to the nat but there's like all these Vikings. Okay, he wants to take care of the Vikings. If he does that, that's going to be very expensive for Bion as well. Bion is going to retreat. Just leaving a small contingent to do some damage back here. And Tempest and Carriers and Disruptors are being produced. DTs coming to clean some of this up. And no, they're going for a snipe. But they will be scouted. Yeah, for sure. One Marine going to kill a Pylon. All right, this is, a, this is a crazy game. Classic has a huge bank. Beyond has that massive gas bank. This isn't the most defended planetary, so the DTs actually could get some work done. Missile turret be damned. It's a good amount of them. However, Beyond... Okay, now Classic's catching up on that army supply, but his base is very exposed. Okay, he has a couple high Templar here with Storm, but it's not available yet. And, well, the EMPs could do some good work here. Classic's out of position to defend this. Does he have Cyanic Storm available? No, he goes to feedback. A couple of ghosts don't hate it. Yeah, we don't see any recalls. Do we get a Disruptor? Oh my god, he couldn't land any storms because the ghost. Beautiful decision making from Bian to split off his army. DT's trying to get the kill, but oh no, I was wrong. It's not enough. I think that was actually just because of the engaged. The side Classic decided, well, didn't decide to lose that. He has a massive bank. Beyond has the ability to mine more, but realistically, Classic could lose some stuff and be okay. He's down on workers, so consequently can have a larger army supply. Uh, we're getting some more Archons and Vikings, but the problem is... Oh, look at the Invisible Men! There's so many Ghosts. There's always going to be energy for the Ghosts. Tempest. I actually don't hate that there's Tempest with this, but this is actually a really difficult army to, to engage for a Protoss player. There's just so many EMPs. There's still some siege tanks. Uh, it's a lot of clunky, slow, massive units. And EMPs are strong. Plus the Viking count's insane. Oh, nice zoning Nova. Catches one ghost. Like, if he can contend with the ghost, he actually can trade out the carriers. He still has a bank. Oh, his gas bank's low. And the Marines are actually getting the work done over here. What Classic could have done is a Zealot Warp, and we, 
Yeah, okay, he's gonna send Z DTs across the map, trying to get some value. There's planetaries and, and missile turrets everywhere. He's trying to be annoying. Vikings are gonna land. Actually, if the DTs can kill the Vikings, that would be pretty good for him. He's gonna go try to get the Ghost Academy. These Marines being, oh, these two Marines have got so much value. 16 workers, it's 34 workers. So this lead may be a thing of the past. DT splitting off, arc cleaned up. But uh, they're gonna get an armory, but there's two armories. It doesn't matter, all the upgrades are done. You still need one. Classic gonna try to take this uh, two o'clock position base. This is a crazy game. DT's doing whatever work they can. They should go for the Ghost Academy, but there's gonna be contingent of bio going in to EMP and take care of it. But I guess that does eat an EMP up. Oh no, Classic, you don't wanna blindly just do this. He's not saturating this bases. He's not working on probes. He's just, he's just mining what he can. He did kill that base for Beyond though. Okay, and is even going to get the missile turret. So if Bian rebuilds it, he has to rebuild the missile turret. Bian's starting to catch up economically. That gas bank's actually going to potentially help him in the future if he gets stabilized. But this game is just so weird. Let's take a look now. The income graph starting to get tip in favor of Bian because Classic only has 34 workers. That bank is surely going to help him a bit, but now he's trying to contend with gas. DTs. Oh, no. There's a missile turret right here. They're going to snipe it. That's actually a kill on a cancel. Oh, the DTs just get disintegrated to the EMPs. Oh, oh, funnily enough, this is going to be scouted by the uh, by the assimilator. So Classic knows what's up. He's going to break the siege, take this base out, which is all mined out. So like, really, he's just fighting into... He needs to somehow crack all the static. And really, there's not a lot defensively here. There is another planet there. He has two planet theories to contend with. And then he can get into the production. He really needs to get into the production of Beyond. And that is how you win it. But look it, there's like no way to get in. Beyond's got CCs for days. Uh, he's getting a hell of a drop down here. Classic lost his base or canceled it somehow. I missed that. So he's actually in a rough spot. He is still mining. But he is going into this massive Sky Toss army still. Problem is Beyond if... Uh, oh, that's a lot of freaking Vikings. Uh, that said, Bion has to be careful. Okay, there's some ghosts with it. I didn't see any ghosts with it. That could have been a moment, an attack of opportunity for Bion, or sorry, for Classic to get some storms. But now everything's regrouped. That is a Terran death ball versus a Protoss, Protoss death ball. Good amount of disruptors, be damned. That's so many Vikings. Okay, so now the Psy storms. He gets a nice psionic storm there. Beautiful EMP from uh, Bion, though. It totally just uh, obliterates the stalker shields. And what do we see over here? Another base fell. That's so unfortunate for Classic. But now we have bases going down. One DT trying to get some work. Ah, uh, the missile turret. Yeah, it's going to a little bit of weird micro. All right, Zealot warping. First time in a while. Zealots are going to maybe find a tank. Yep, they get one. Uh, actually, he's thrown away a probe accidentally. Classic down to 26 workers. Now it can get scary because there's a lot of planetaries. He did, I think he may have scouted the ones on the side. Oh, no, nice storm landed, but it didn't really catch much. And the High Templar are going to take a beating, but we got some disruptors. We need to get some good disruptor shots, basically, and then you have to contend with the air, and he can do that with stalkers. But that said, the economy is starting to look a little wanky for Protoss. He only has, yeah, he's all mined out of gas here. Does he have any avail? Nope, that's all mined out. He needs to take this base, this base, and retake this base, which is also mined out a bit. Does have a lot of gas available there, though. But Protoss is gas-starved, and that's the problem. He needs to get Zealots uh, out, I think, as he trades to go just get some harass. I mean, there's random planetaries, but he's starting to chisel through all that. And actually, another good thing would be a good fight here. Obviously, trading would be ideal. Storm drops on the Vikings. That's so huge. Storm drops on the bio. Also quite good. Oh my god, is Classic gonna do it? This game is nuts. It's kind of a slow, it was a slow turtley game, but not really. There was action the whole time, and somehow it just seemed like the late game happened so fast. Now we're like contesting bases that the, neither player can safely take. Uh, this is all mined out for Bion. He does have the, he's gonna take the one o'clock position base. Classic going for seven o'clock. 8 o'clock? Whatever. Okay, a couple sensor towers remain. Looks like DTs. No, Zealot's good. Yeah, it's about all the money Classic could invest into. He needs to take bases. He needs to get gas. 
uh, and he needs to defend. So Zealots are going to find no value. All right, Beyond's going to start throwing away workers. Now look at this, the low worker count, the massive army count. Uh, it is pretty cray cray. There's an orbital, and that's all Beyond's mining on until he gets the other base. You want to get to a point where you have lower workers, but Beyond doesn't have that much money. If he maxes out too much, and he is going to. Classic with a 175 army supply, but Beyond technically, if he can eke out the minerals, which he kind of is going to have a hard time, he can mule it. He can actually get a higher army, but for the moment, our Protoss player does have it. One sensor tower. Oh, no. It is. Okay, it just fell. But he wants to be careful. It's a lot of Vikings and a lot of... Oh, the EMPs are so good. Beyond actually looking like he's in a tough position. We got one DT with some Zealots. Beyond has no money. No income whatsoever. Classic. Now looks like with a man monumental lead with any economy. But look at the army supplies. Beyond now can't get a max star. He's got a long distance mine, little bits of stuff. He's finally depleted his gas bank. I think Classic's got this one as long as he doesn't throw in the fight. Because it's not like he's mining a ton. And Beyond's even starting to lose some of these orbitals. But we need some uh, game-winning disruptors, and we need some good storms if there's any available. Oh, Stalker's actually helping to get the Vikings. Every trade of army on Beyond is huge. And even these SCVs now, because, well, mules be damned. They're going to be long-distance mining mules. Oh, no, the blink forward. Oh, does debate. Catches a few Marines. That is every chisel at Beyond's army is good. As long as he keeps these units alive. Classic is looking like he basically just has the game. Uh, a lot of these orb, yeah. Classic doesn't feel, or Beyond doesn't feel safe to do this. Mule going to repair this? This looks like a, my guess is, yeah, Beyond's going to repair that. No. Okay, he may lose a planet, or an orbital right there. Beyond is starting to lose bases, and he's going to get a surround on this army. At this point, even if there are good units against this, it is more versus less. This is going to be the last engagement. We do see any Novas going just yet. One Nova, two Novas. Oh, almost catching his own Zealots, but yeah, this is Kirktown. This is a crazy game, and I'm so glad to be casting this now. I think this is game one, but oh, this could be like, who knows? GG. What a banger. What a banger. That was the first of the series. Very well played. My God, these guys' APMs through the roof. Uh, just an insane game. Just an insane game. And this is the semifinals. Let's take a look at the bracket on the other side. Other side is... Let me update this. All right, so we have all the casters in here. We have Beowulf, Steadfast, Alexander, Edke, Maddox. Firefly versus Solar is going on. Looks like Firefly 2-0 to Estrella. Solar versus Firefly is going on. And uh, looks like he may, they may not have updated this. Maybe in here. I'm going to cover the other side. But no, nah, we started on this series. We're going to finish this series. This is good, good stuff. Last minute decision. Oh, Renegade's gone. Ben. Hey, Renegade. Oh my God, it's Dave. Hey, how you doing? Dude, you're coming in like 
You're like the deus ex machina of this tournament. You're coming in right when you're needed. Well, I just, I pulled the chat because I was like, well, I, I'm like, oh, Steadfast is casting? That's how I looked on my, I had my Twitch open because I was watching Twitch, uh, Trigger earlier. Man, this lobby don't want to load. No, it does not. I think we had a disconnect. Oof. Probably Alexander and Key Rip. I'm just, I'm calling that it. Called out. Called out, dude. Savagery. No, nah, it's just, I, I noticed uh, it seems like he has some rough internet sometimes. We'll see. Maybe we, we're in luck and everybody's here. <laughs> that was, you missed a banger. An absolute banger. Oh, no, that's okay. We had some bangers of our own. Dave, why don't you tell me what your banger was first? Well, uh, with that said, spawning in the bottom left-hand <laughs> corner of Data C. Speaking of bangers, he's down a game. Give it up for Bion in the red. Uh, that Classic. Spawning in the top right for prep esports. Well, what we had, I just came into the semifinals, so I had my first game. And it was, it just seemed like there was action nonstop. And it just felt like, surprise, we're in the late game. Bases are mining out. It was one of those kind of games. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? We had, yeah. We had Firefly. Oh, Astraea. Yeah. Oh, now he lost both of them. But, like, they were very, very well played out by Firefly. Um, like, it was it was closer than it should have been the whole time, so... Hmm. Yeah. Firefly went on a tear tonight and definitely earned his $50 in two ESL Pro Tour points. Yeah, I saw the 2-0 and I'm like, damn, that's a crazy Firefly 2-0 and... Stray is no joke. Yeah, he, he devastated Australia. Like, it, it was not close. You see um, what I'm seeing from Classic, other than the proxy? Yeah. This rally Wait, point on the gateway? Oh. That's going to be a stuck zealot if he doesn't... Okay, he caught on. That would be big, big problems. Oh, oh the gateway in the main. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, he would have been stuck between the cyber core and the gate if he didn't fix that rally, but he does. And looks like we're going to have... Oh, I did this like once or twice a day. Oh, I love how Beyond's checking for proxies. Beyond didn't do his scout, though. Renegade. Hmm. No, no, he didn't. Um. I, I mean, how do you feel about this double reaper opener versus uh, this max packs of classic? Well, it's kind of a, it's not quite a max packs because. Well, yeah, it's a yeah. stalker, right? Yeah. He's going to have a zealot and a depth and a stalker to fight this, and then another stalker reinforcing. Pre he's hiding the, okay, he's hiding the zealot and the stalker. So, Beyond's going for a push. Um, I think this is actually going to work out quite well for Classic, truthfully. Oh, this is going to be an awkward fight, but he Ooh, needs these yeah. adepts. He needs everything to fight this. There's no bunker. There's no bio. There's another Hellion coming. Yeah, I think this is going to go pretty well for Classic, but he needs to keep the Zealot alive as crazy as it sounds. There's going to be a, probably a tech lab coming down for the factory to try to wall this, I think, but we'll oh see. Oh, my God. I thought Beyond was just going to cancel this, but no, he actually sallies out and will kill off the Zealot. Is going to get a Stalker as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's going to keep the base and keep the pressure, but... There's some macro behind it, Renegade. From yeah. Classic. Warp Gate's not done yet, though. That's a huge, huge problem. Are we watching a TBT? Doesn't this feel like a TBT to you now? We got like Hellions and Reapers, and we got like Adepts and Stalkers. It just it has a TBT kind of feel. Yeah, yeah, no, th but this has been, I've seen this a few times, actually, um, lately, opening, opening Reaper Hellion. Oh, decisions were made. Oh, yeah, but guess what? The two Reapers are cleaned off. Truthfully, I don't think Classic needs to back off because he's going to have Warpgate finishing up a Stalker back there. He can keep these units here and put some forward pressure on, but 
Yeah, we're gonna have oh Bion going into Cloak Banshee. That's beautiful. Renegade Bion might be just in a fantastic position here. He's on classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, classic keeps trying to attack in here, but it's just not working out. He's gotten minimal damage done to the Terran. Okay, well that's two cancels on the bunker. This is a good start. It's finally working out. <laughs> of course, I cast her first at Dave. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's not gonna be cloaked just yet. Yeah. He's going into a Raven. It's just a Banshee Marine tank push, but Protoss with some aggression and obviously whatever other well, units left. Eh, he just did not eat tank shots. Yeah, with with Classic's position on the map, I don't know how much of a push it's gonna be. It's, it's definitely gonna be a defense force uh, for sure, but there is a chance Classic takes a good engagement and whittles this down so there's not too much left to push out. Yeah, he's been too um, aggressive though. I know you need to get trades, yeah. but he's been too aggressive. He's lost five stalkers already, so not what you, but at the same time, yeah, he's traded very inefficiently. Double Raven from Beyond. Well, oh, okay, cancel it. Beyond sneaks out two Reapers into Hellion. Makes yeah. a beeline for the natural of Classic, but Classic does have two Stalkers to intercept. Yeah, he's... Okay, yeah, he's got a micro oh, shield battery out. It's really good. Classic is actually playing pretty well, minus the, like, he didn't trade inefficiently, but he's done such a good, uh, good job at pressure. And uh, lost mining time. I felt like he, at least it felt like he uh, got some good lost mining time from being. Hmm. Beyond slowly creeps along the bottom edge of the map with his Banshee. Yeah. It, it will eventually reach Classic's main. Classic continues to siege of Bion. He can't break in here with the tank present. He, he finishes Blink, but I think even with Blink, it's, it's going to be impossible. I'm going to say it's impossible for him. Yeah, to Yeah, Bion's setup is um, like, look at He's got tanks. He's got one in the natural right next to the uh, orbital. He's got one on the cliff between the natural and the main, and he has one right by the factory. And that barracks position is going to scout yeah. any blinking. And the raven it means the observer is going to die. So there's nothing classic could do other than macro. And I would like to see he's going into charge, dropping gates. Would like to see him get a forge when he can, but that's a lot to do with. Oh, bn has got to push. Okay, well, Classic blinks into the main. I mean, Bion knew this was coming. You, you see how quick the response is. He's going to lose this reactor. I was about to say, you know, the one disadvantage is you are going to lose the reactor on that barracks. But I think getting the scouting information is just so much. Like, it, it was so worth it that Bion had that barracks there. Oh, yeah, it was. But at the same time, look at Bion, Bion, Bion doing drops after the Banshee. What happened to Banshee? Banshee flew into the main and got wrecked by stalkers. It killed nothing. Yeah, I didn't see anything go down, so I was assuming that was the case. Uh, actually, that was probably the best thing that happened for Classic. But the problem is this drop. I'm doing drippy drops. <laughs> oh, Classic can jump right on this. Gets a tank. Drippy drops. Okay. But yeah, this double marine drop can get a lot of value. There's a third. Actually, Classic has stuff back home, and I don't have my production tab up. Renegade Charge is going to finish. Yeah. Three, two, one, zero charges here, as are concussive shells. So. Oh, that tank on the low ground can help this fight if Classic is. Oh my god, that's the mother of all Artosis pylons. If Bion can get in on it, some zealots are going to hold the choke. <laughs> buying time for classic to recall the zealots all die the stalkers are here are they going to be able to get the medevac they are not beyond is too quick blink forward isn't even going to be able to take it this is a tough corner though and the stalker finally gets the shot off a full medevac of guns men has paid their assault on the pylon oh warp in ambush on the second medevac Ooh. is picked off as well classic is on fire bruh Classic is literally on fire, but like last game was weird. Like it was a lot of pressure, but it did kind of turtle. It was like weird. There was action the whole game, 
Yet it turtled and it, and it was like late game mass Viking, mass ghost, mass carrier, mass disruptor, archons and storm drops. It was nuts. It had everything. This but is mayhem. Yeah, this is. Beyond is engaging on two fronts. Uh, the left flank has been cleaned up though. Some SCVs are going to be pulled into battle, and this is enough to push Classic away. But um, actually, no, no. Classic's army took a big beating. He heavily yeah, he... dropped an army supply. I thought Beyond lost more than he did, but he actually didn't. Um, yeah. Beyond really didn't, and it sounds stupid, but that proxy is a little consequential. Why well, he's can't he accidentally built the Templar archives? A little indecision from our Protoss Renegade, as he he's gonna obviously have to forfeit the. Oh, he's gonna get the tank, uh, the Raven, get a charge lot run by in, and yeah, he has to be careful. But getting some, this is actually not too bad for Classic. But he has no power units. He's just now getting into the Robo Bay and lost Immortals and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, one thing I like out of Classic's position, he's debating the army back. There is a siege tank on the high ground, but it's going to cause friendly fire to some of this as the Zealots push in behind this. But Classic doesn't have any... Yeah, this army's just going to destroy these stalkers. There's no shield. Oh, one shield battery. And there's only an Immortal Renegade. Yeah. Okay, it forced BN back, that Zealot run by. So that's the other good thing. But Enhanced Shockwave's finishing with these ghosts. It's a little scary. Classic needs to be careful he needs to play his cards very close to his chest or in this case the nexus cluster because he is just so far down in army supply beyond's going to be able to push in and crush classic if he splits up too much he's doing a charge lot run by down the right side trying to cause some damage but there is a widow mine in place to intercept the only choke point these guys can enter terran territory that's so these guys are going to take attrition yeah, that stalker was clutching the bushes, but like you said, Beyond so good with widow mines, he's gonna take that center position in the, the grass. Uh, and uh, Classic does not know that, so that could actually really hurt. I, I like this mass disruptor play. It, he's he's like, you know what, Klaus, I are gonna take forever. We're behind in upgrades. Let's get right into uh, disruptors. Oh. Yeah. Some dead ghosts. Well, pushing high ground is really hard. Bion is not at a positional advantage in this engagement. He's pushing into shield battery overcharge, into a perfect concave from classic, into disruptors, and of course up a ramp. So it's it's not going to be a successful operation for Bion. He is held off. Classic goes from being 40 army supply down to neck and neck with his opponent beyond is going to thrust from a different angle this time oh he's gonna go in for a doom drop and i don't think this is anticipated and scouted obviously he's gonna lose his cyber core renegade that's a huge problem because he's gonna need stalker somewhere in here and the sim oh, city he lost the cyber core he didn't finish off the cyber core dude he's gonna oh, no. Wait, he's gonna he do you nope. think so? No, I don't know. He's, yeah, he's, not. Time. he's forced into a corner. He's forced to lift off. And it, it's a total victory in this engagement for Classic. Oh, yeah. And Disruptor goes down. Oh, ho, ho. what a series. Yun has another tendril of attack ready to pounce into Classic over on the left side. Um, he already cut off this fifth base, so that's easily cancelable if he catches any wind that it's actually there. Ghost holding the line as he drops in the main as well. Two engagements going on on two different flanks for Classic. It looks like he's winning the one on the left flank, but the main is is really under threat here. Several Marauders are going to survive to continue pushing forward. Classic continues to warp in. In the meantime, Beyond continues to shell this fifth base. He did find out it was there, but is he going to finish it off no. or is he going to pull a cyber core? Oh, he's losing all the ghosts. Uh, that widow mine yeah. could be a bit of a problem. That fifth base stands, and you know something doesn't finish off the cyber core. Doesn't get the gates. Very. Oh yeah. It's... This is looking very scary. 
it, it's total route. Total route for Oh Bionic. no, but look at the army of classic. Yeah, they the widow mine is gonna trigger. Nope. No. Whoa, that almost got not just the widow mine, but that army. Yeah, and I like that cancel in the fifth, by the way, but with that said, Bien took a fourth behind us somehow, Renegade, and has a fifth CC on the way. That's crazy. Absolute madness. It's it's amazing, and it speaks to the caliber of these players that Classic has, like, won battles, and, and like, Bion's just fine. <laughs> he, like, has lost his entire army three times, and he's just yeah, he's still absolutely. able to engage with Classic. Ooh, yeah, forcing the fifth cancel and not really killing the workers, but yeah, he's going to get that side record hey, now. Hey, hey. Who wants to have some fun? And uh, yeah. He, he had to. You, you don't like end this game without getting that cyber core at least. Oh, yeah, for sure. Soul Steel, thank you for the raid. That's like an Xbox. Greatly appreciated. You guys, make sure you move on. on that one. Yeah. Like, you got to snipe it eventually. Oh, absolutely. And Bion is now getting a lot of damage done, and his economy is now looking a lot better. Classic doesn't have the supply. Uh, well, yeah. If, um, if those medevacs died in that engagement in the main before, all oh, the talking about Artosis pylons. They're not focusing it, though. There we go. Ooh, nice pickup on the disruptor. Yeah. Holy micro. Yeah, between both of them, like that disruptor literally looked like it was going to get everything and then it means just doesn't oh we're finally seeing some medevacs go down god when you when you watch the highest level starcraft players you're like watching the fight and what you can't convey to the viewer is that beyond while this fight was going on while you were watching all those hot pickups and oh. drops and dodges he has a whole other attack going, and he's expanding and while he's fighting. Yeah, that's crazy. He's doing all this, Bion, and at the same time, Classic was trying to. He had the forward momentum, going to have to cancel again, but he, Bion even cheekily snuck a Widow Mine. He walked the Widow Mine into the third behind fighting, macroing, expanding, lifting off, and flying CCs, Renegade. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. This is... Yeah, like you said, this is like watching GSL. Uh, no, no, it I'm really sad is. GSL. <laughs> You're sad? I mean, it's Maru, man. That was Artosis's last Oh, pass. the Artosis. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. I didn't even think about it until after I was watching it. Like, oh, well, at least I did get to watch it. Well, that's that's it. 20 more probes, Dad. I think, I think Classic's actually in a lot of trouble. He won quite a few engagements, but... Like, his economy is just drying up. Oof. 22 workers falling, yeah. Classic is... I think this is just Beyond's game. There's no questioning it. Classic is, oh, yeah. is gonna have to... He doesn't realize what's on the other side of the map, I don't think, but... What should be his tell is... Well, how the army can just keep relentlessly coming... Should tell him that his economy is just fine. Yeah, we should see a GG here pretty soon after this last fight, unless miraculous things happen, Renegade. Because upgrades, uh, well, they're not horrible to stay. And but yeah, this base going down and some of the rest of this. Ooh, one disruptor does connect, but he needed more than that. GG. With 16 probes left, Pion tears his way to victory. Oh, absolutely. Left for classic, I should have said. Pion did not have 16 probes. English language is hard. English is hard, Dave. It is a language. That is for sure. That is for sure. All right, we're going to get into... Stargazers. 
and there has been no lobby link posted, but people are in game. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, Dave. I just saw your tweet. Yeah, uh, I'm, joined, I'm joining off of you. Okay, we're safe. I woke up at 7.30 p.m. I went to bed at noon. I'm so fucked, renegade. I want to be back to work. It's not looking good. I'm going to... It was a little too Kirk down. Apparently, twisted tea. They certainly put the twisted in the tea. That's all I'm saying. I've never tried it. Maybe I should. Yeah, he didn't either. You, yeah, it's. It, I, I'd recommend it, but at the same time, it's mm-hmm. kind of acidic. Like you know, if you're. Yeah. Well, you drink well, wine, I, so like I, I. But it's good. It's good. I mean, I drank tea, which is pretty acidic. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I. <laughs> I don't drink much tea, but I love it. I used yeah. to a ton. And, uh, yeah, with that said, we have our match point for the semifinals on this side. Do we, though? Yeah. And in the upper left, representing Preparation HG Sports in the red, it is classic. (laughs) It's messed up, dude. (laughs) In the top right. (laughs) From Shopify Rebellion. It's beyond. Well, you know, I we went from, as I say, almost every time now, data see these nuts. We went from data see these nuts to <laughs> to preparation age. I actually like prep esports a lot. I think it was a cool move for classic because you know change it up for teams and they have like Han Mono and and uh, Percival. No, Percival was teamless. Yeah. Huh. I thought I I kept thinking Percival was on prep and. Uh, yeah. He, Dude, uh, have you seen that guy's hair? Yeah. He has, so like, sick. long, luxurious hair. It's, uh... Okay, we got lag. Is that me? Okay. Did oh, I, no! Did, I, did I lag us? Did I have to quit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit? No, you don't have to quit. I mean, I think, unless it happens again. Oh, no. It's starting to, I think. My my Uh-oh. ISP, I, I never had. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to quit. If you DC, I can always stream it to you. Yeah, I could. Uh, maybe I could quit and we can do that anyway, just in case I lag anybody out. I think that might be a smart idea. Okay, wait, guys, wait. you're going to hear audio cut out as I set this up for Dave real quick. Should still be able to see Wait, I mean, it seems to be good. It seems to be good. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry. Okay. Never mind. I think we're okay. That was a little hiccup. I'll let you know. God damn it. Oh, dude, I'm right there with you. I used to have bad internet. It's so, this is most. My internet's usually been good, but like lately, every day I have blurbs. Maybe everybody's on. It's probably because they're pissed off that I'm constantly streaming all the time. And I'm actually maybe my equipment's even just well, starting to go. Well, no good way around that, Dave. Don't stream so much. Nord VPN. <laughs> Nord VPN. That's funny. Use nah. the code Renegade at checkout for ten percent off. Nice, but I think uh, in my case, it's gonna be. Uh, wow, um, three CC from Bian. This is uh, a bold move. Don't actually. I'm not sponsored by NordVPN. I just need to make that bunch of leakers. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so, classic. Finishing his Twilight Council. You you can get HelloFresh. Seeing the code Dave has to SC them. Yeah, but I don't know what my code is, but it's posted there. But yeah, honestly, oh, I don't have it on ESLs because they don't want... I forgot to put it on there, but yeah, guys, if anybody... I actually have to try to do it. There's some days left. If I get one person, I'm going to be extremely happy. One person is thinking about getting HelloFresh, and they use my code when I go back to regular stream after. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. It's the only reason I'm doing it is it's something I think that people may be actually, you know, only if they're interested in it, you know? Yeah, I've been thinking about doing it, to be honest. It, it seems like it might be a good fit. I, I didn't want to do Raid Shadow Legends, man. Don't do world of tanks that one did not work out well i mean or what was it world of i forgot no it wasn't world of tanks it was world of warships or whatever no it was some multi it it actually was a good game like truthfully i would play that everybody was like i actually had friends that played it and i think that's part of why i couldn't get codes because it was actually a decent game uh i don't regret raid shadow legends truthfully that one 
it took some scamming to get, or, or you know, a lot of. What I mean by scamming is, you know, a lot of work to get it rolling. But uh, we actually successfully compete, completed all the campaign goals that I could possibly do. <laughs> so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, did you? How'd you do on yours? I haven't done it. Yet. I've never done a sponsorship before. I, I'm thinking about pulling the trigger. That one, we'll have to talk on the sly about because. Uh, oh, fresh? No, raid. It's a. Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I, I will not. <laughs> I. I don't. It, trust me. It's worth. It's worth. Uh huh. Oh, I don't look. want my audience. Play. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk later. <laughs> he comes yeah. in, backs into the corner, kills one stalker, two stalker. Is he gonna get a three stalker? I mean, I don't know about you, Dave, but trading three stalkers for four SCVs isn't isn't great. And a couple Marines. He got four Marines. So in total, actually, it was only two stalkers. I, it looked like three. Yeah. It did take a lot of damage. One. But yeah. four SCVs and four Marines, it's not bad when it's... But I don't know. He's got to keep the pressure on going... Uh, mm -hmm. Going four gate blink against three racks is rough like that because you got to keep these stalkers alive and you're going to be against potentially concussive shell marauders or stim marauders with marines. You know, it's just hard. Oh my god. Plus one is finishing momentarily for Beyond. Um. Robotics facility on the way for classic. Yeah, and uh, worker counts actually looking very in favor of Beyond with that 3cc build, so that's what I'm saying. This is not exactly ideal. Well, he's taking fights from two fronts. Right, and it, it's looking, it's looking, I mean, it, the worker counts in favor for Beyond after he lost a half dozen SCVs, which, which just speaks to the power of it, really. Classic's continuing to all in here. Yeah, I mean, he's actually not really all. It's an all in build, but he's doing well, kind of like Max Pax does. It does yeah. set you back, but look, he's actually found a lot of value, and he's kept the. The key is he's been able to trade well enough where the army supplies even. He's going into a robo bay. Uh, he didn't get charged. Usually, when you. I would have rather him get charge mm -hmm. and get a warp prism because. Yeah, you can still get the Robo Bay, but after it's just more gas efficient, right? And you're already pretty committed. And it's going to take forever for that Robo Bay to get done, so. But, oh my god, Renegade, is Classic going to do it? This is the best. I don't know. There's, that, that's map. not even close to all of Beyond's army. It still isn't all of Beyond's army. And yeah, he's going to lose everything. Classic is going to do it. He's going to lose the game. Um, it's, yeah, that's a. Uh, oof. After last game, that was rough. That was rough to watch. Uh, yeah, his start. What it was was the map too, on uh, on moonshine. I'm gonna call it for memes. Mm -hmm. What do we call this one? Um, this one's gonna be called. Fuck this map. Veto it. No, this map's great. I love this map. <laughs> oh no, am I lagging this out? No. I had a little stutter there. I'm just making am sure. I... Okay. So, Colossi comes out with a bunch of zealots underneath and an adept. And this is it, folks. This is the Protoss army. Um, it ain't much to look at right now. Byun is bearing down on this with 65 army supply, almost 70. Oh, not all of that is at the front, of course. It's going to take him time to reinforce, and he's dropping in the pocket base. Going to take out a gateway. So, <clears throat> Beyond coming in from two sides. He's not going to engage at the natural. He's actually going to shift around to the Protoss third. Doesn't get any probe kills, but will start engaging with the Colossi and such as Classic is pushed out of his own main. Second Colossi is going to help out here, but might be out. Might grow. Oh no, it's gunned down by Beyond. And Gun is going to be able to continue his assault in the red main. Oh, I love the probe pull because the Colossi can Oh my god, I did love the probe pull, but now the Widow Mines. GG. Oh, what a game. 
All right. Wow. I mean, game two looked so back and forth, but this, this was a trouncing by beyond in game number three. But it looked it's classic was doing so well with the pressure. He got too greedy. And again, he should have wanted to charge in a prism. He was doing it just right. And then after he got too greedy in it, rather than going into the Colossus, I think charge was the play. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we are in the finals, right? Yeah. Um, Dave, I, I actually think I'm going to raid into you. Can oh, I you are? Follow? Yeah. Yo, you don't want to be streaming? I'm uh, going to be streaming after, too. I just have to lose the delay. So thank you, Renegade, too, for that. You're very And welcome. Soulsteel raided in just before. Thank you, Soulsteel. He said NordVPN. Use code Dave Testicles, and you get to pay an extra 30%. That's pretty funny. Oh, you're going to be leaving, leaving? You're, yeah, you're done for the night? Yeah, I'm done. All right, All right, cool. No doubt. No doubt, Renegade. You have a fantastic evening. You too, Dave. I'll see you around. I'm going to have a fantastic morning. I'm effed. I'm going to be trying to... I don't know what I'm going to do. See you, Renegade. That is Renegade. Hello, Charlie. Wow, good boy. Damn, that was a surprising plot twist ending there. Renegade will be joining us shortly. I guess Renegade needs to... Uh, we had a 2-0 from Solar and Firefly. Players are doing the vetoes. Uh, we should have a match soon. My kitty is wanting all the love right here. He's a good boy. Charlie, you want to jump up on me? Huh? No, he just wanted to get pet. What? I don't have any treats. We got you got food. I gotta get cat treats after. Hey! Hey! hey. Who wants to have some fun? And a shout out to Renegade again. Thank you for the raid, the cast. We will be waiting for. Uh, the players to get in. We have a little bit of a break here between them. Again, I will be around, so. We are in the finals. It is going to be Beon versus Solar. Good stuff. So bear with me here. I should use the bathroom myself in between.
All right. We are back. We're waiting for the stuff. No degenerate betting? I don't know. I don't know, man. Everybody's been sleeping on the Dave stream lately after Wednesday or something. I think I overdid it. I'll be back to uh, ladder after this. We can do a bets. All right, I will do one. There you go, Xerxes. Made a lobby glitch. You saw a cat? Yeah, it's my Charlie. He wants something. Well, well, well. How you guys doing? We got any bets? Place your bets. Wow, 8,628 for Bian. All right, let's see. <laughs> Ready B on Solar's writing what letter by letter. All right, this is funny. We're into the finals. Best of five. Get your bets in. We got a minute or so left. Come on, chat. You can do it. Or I got faith in you. Apparently, I should have stayed laddering, huh? I don't care. We got a banger of a TVZ series coming up here. ZVT, depending on how you're looking at it. Bion versus Solar. Oh, did I not go on TeamLiquid.net? That's my question. Oh, yeah, we did. All right, anyway, here we go on a best of five, spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of Waterfall. 
Representing Onside Gaming, give it up for Solar in the red. And his Terran opponent in the upper right, representing Shopify Rebellion in the blue, it is Bion. All right, let's see what we got this game. Doesn't look like we're going to have proxy racks in game number one. Let's hope that I have no internet problems, ladies and germs, uh, as we go on here. Well, Jesus, you'd think we'd get more. Uh, it's been a slow couple days on Twitch, I swear to God, guys, but I appreciate you guys hanging out here. I think a streamer had fizzled out a bit, but I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Yesterday, I was just in a lot of pain. But we're doing good now. All right, it's just going to be a pretty standard opener for both. I expect a, a Reaper fast expand from Bion. He hasn't rallied his barracks just yet, but we'll see. Strong showing against... Uh, against Classic before. Uh, but th that being said, Firefly got 2 owed by Solar. So, very strong play on this side, which I did not cover. We just got in the semis in the finals. <clears throat> I'm going to be easing it up a bit. Guys, by the way, another OSC Masters Cup will be coming up potentially before the end of the year. Uh, that went so well. I decided I'm going to be doing another one. Best tournament investment I could have done, let me say, because uh, shout out to Eddie and OSC for the great work OSC does in bringing us stuff. Overlord's going to scout this and just see... Yeah, uh, get some information, but the Marine is going to fend it off. I hope to God that's not me lagging us. It is just Asia. Uh, Asian servers, I always have a little bit of a problem. Overlord's going to escape. Marine's not going to be able to get it uh, just yet. Maybe just chisel a couple pop shots at it, but I think that Overlord's perfectly fine. It's going to be a reactor factory. Just a standard opener from Bion. Are we going to see Bion go? What build is he going for? That's what we want to see here. Oh, but let's see. Before then... What work is this Reaper going to do? Cla uh, Solar likes his his six lings. Oh, that be oh, Beyond almost gets the drone. No kills. A beautiful micro from Solar. And just a bit of misfortune for Beyond. He almost got that drone at the least, which would have been a nice pickoff, but is not going to be able to do so. We have perfect defense from Solar. He always gets those six lings instead of four. Not always, but pretty close. It's an interesting opener from our Zerg player. Marina's patrol pathing for the Overlord will find it. Yeah, he's going to be right on top of it. And uh, it is going to be a... Well, is this going to be a 1113 CC from Bion. Do love those three, uh, three CC builds um, in TVZ. Which could potentially mean a very strong or very committed or three base push. Beyond is, he didn't go confirm the third, but he should know it's there with the Reaper, by the way. Uh, is going to have some Hellions out going for the Viking. Is this going to imply, hmm, hmm, this looks like it could be, yeah, he, he could be going for the stem. It could be a stem Hellbat push, but we'll see if there's an Armory. Because we'll see a medevac come. And, uh, yeah. It, I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see out of Bion. But we'll he, he has so many builds that are just slightly off on variant. No, nope. Okay, I was wrong. He's going for the reactor on the starport. So it, it is just going to be probably going into a 3 one one Okay, Ling is roasted. Solar trying to get some vision. Does confirm. There's Hellions. The uh, Overlord did go down from the Viking. And Bion is setting up his other racks. So he is just going into a 3 one, one Probably going to swap out the starport after he gets a couple medevacs. Maybe go for a drop and then do some Hellion Harass Viking. Going out trying to find some overlords, but has to be careful. It has taken a beating from the Queens. Actually, he's not paying attention to it for the moment, but that said the Hellions. Okay, he's trying to debate the Queens. He is going right into the natural where it's least defended. And I think he could potentially get some good damage. Oh, is he going to go into the main? 
There is a queen in each location. Ling's gonna stop, uh, kind of stopgap this a bit, but he's gonna lose some Hellions. He has to get some drone kills to, for this to be worth it, because that's a lot of an investment in Hellions. Five drones go down, some Ling's. Not really worth it that much for Bion, I'd say, uh, as he lost all six Hellions and the Reaper for five drones, 11 Ling's and an Overlord, before, which was going there, but there's gonna be a counterattack. Lots of speedlings at kind of an anti timing of Bion, and he doesn't have much to defend this. He's got to pull the boys uh, from Solar. Solar actually getting some really good worker kills. Is going to maybe go with Gress the third. No, he's not going to. He's going to back off. Stim has completed. Uh, we don't see combat shields going down for Bion just yet, and we are going to see a reactor on the starport. Two more racks going down. It's going to be a very committed three base push from beyond he is going into one one however but again he forgot combat shields and i think it's partially from the assault will we see it come down we are going to have an armory as part of the component in the wall because of the aggression from our zerg player baneling that's going down with the layer and the one one from solar at a good timing he has his fourth hatch about halfway done all right that said ling is going to go for a little run by but there's nothing here to defend oh no is that Ling going to get a worker? He's chiseling away. And that's damage that's going to stack up later, potentially, for a Bane bust. A Ling run by. That could just mean dead SEVs, um, potentially. Ooh, Solar going for a fifth hatch. I kind of like this. That said, Bion is going to have a slight upgrade advantage for a little bit of a time. He's got a couple tanks out, got some Marines. Uh, the armory has started. We do have combat shields started later, but he is ultimately not in forgot not forgotten them. We're up to five racks production with reactors. That's a lot of marines. All right, that said, Starcraft Two on Twitch has been down recently. Is that what's happened, Magic Turtle? And then also I noticed there's no more hosting of channels. Uh, they mentioned which might be affecting me too. It doesn't show up as a category? Gene Sim Nuts Games. Is that what you're referring to? I didn't notice that. When you say StarCraft 2 has been down. Oh, Centrifugal Hooks is not quite done yet. It's halfway done. That upgrade does seem to take a, a while. It does take a little longer. Beyond doesn't take any damage to the Metavax. But he's going to be damn annoying. Just getting some collateral damage. Trying to find some drone kills. And is going to get some. And picks up everything. Wow, Beyond is playing this dropout really nicely and just massing up a Terran force behind it. He's ahead on army supply. He has to watch out for Solar. He's going for a 4cc. I love it. Okay, that's a beautiful time for a fourth. And I like his location. But look at this creep spread. Waterfall is such a small map. Oh, God. Am I, I hope I'm not stuttering out. Again, guys, keep me in posted because I can't have any lag. Oh my god, the Ling Bane getting some good connects. Killing a tank. Killing both tanks, I think. Three tanks went down in that. That was a good catch for Solar. There's just so much creep spread. But meanwhile, Bion goes in for a double drop again. Only finds two drones, but kills something. Kill the spawning pool. That's huge. He loses the medevac, but killing the spawning pool is big. He's got to rebuild another one. That actually really puts a... Uh, well, Ling's were already in production. He's got a lot out. That is going to ultimately help hurt our Zerg player as he goes into a hive, uh, going into Groove Spine. So we should see a Hydra Den, or sorry, Hydra Den, a Lurker Den go down from Solar, but we'll see. All right. Marines forcing a lot of transfuses, but Solar has been spreading that creep everywhere. Beyond going for a push on the other flank, the drop distracting Solar, cleaning up a lot of that heavy, heavy creep on the west side. God damn. 4CC going into position. Wootsicle, what's up, buddy? Woots is like, oh man. Terran versus Zerg. You how you you're not feeling good, Woot? I remember you said you were not feeling good, so I hope you're feeling better, man. Alright, creep spread, active tumor is going down. My man Wooty. Alright. Yeah. I mean I get it, but I, I don't understand. I still don't understand League. I, I promise that I might try some League to change it up. Because, simply put, it's some th shit with friends. We made it to Seattle, Dan Mako. I didn't hear the TTS. 
Uh, on this scene, uh, for some reason, I don't have it so I could hear the TTS, Dan Mako. Shit. So you got a new contract, I take it? Oh, my God. Oh, no. I was wondering where you've been. Oh, shit. Bane Bus, look at Zerg. Planetary is denied. And this stim, he's just trying to get ahead of these banelings. The tank's going to help. Okay, a lot of the banelings do trade out, but ultimately the uh, command center is saved for a moment. Beyond going in for another drop. What a madman. There's no spore. This game is something else. Lots of pressure going down. Beautiful pickup at that. Nah, he's going to lose that medevac. 100%. Look, and it's just surrounded by queens. There's hydras. There's a spore crawler. But it was enough to force solar back somehow beyond it killed so much creep over there still hasn't taken care of the center or east side yet but he has to secure this planetary wouldn't hate a little bit of a repair and you know what once he can start mining he might even want to drop a fifth cc to be honest with you yeah he's got to start contending with the yeah he's probably going to take this side but truthfully the debate would be to start there's not a lot of creep on the east and beyond's not really pressured there uh, he's taken out the west side, and that's ironically where he's cleaned up. He's been there, but look at how much Zerg is here. That is a lot of Banes. We're looking at 48 Banelings and 84 Zerglings. And a uh, very nice surround. Blinding Cloud's going to nullify the tanks, and Solar is going to come in hot. The Banelings are just going to destroy and obliterate the planetary. Again, like I said, that's why I would have liked to see a fifth. CC going on for beyond the banelings do unfortunately connect with a tank tanks are not seized they're taking some damage but the uh force is gonna fend this off but it's 89 to 64 workers a three base to a five base actually six base zerg um, luckily, a lot of the armies cleaned up. Seismic Spines coming in. Oh, no, and Vipers. And Beyond couldn't get that transition in to Ghost because of what's gone on. Solar is just such a cheeky player, but he is so damn good. I'm glad you're feeling better, Woot. Yeah, I think everybody's focusing on DreamHack. And I'm glad to see some of the players getting more viewership, but I don't know. At the tail end of Dave Marathon Man Twitch streaming. I hope, because I'm hoping to be back into things. Oh, God. Who cares what I'm saying? This is just over. Be on trying in desperation to hang on. I think I think this is going to be over pretty quickly. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. GG is called and Solar takes game number one. That was a trouncing that's definitely a Zerg favored map. Let me see if I can adjust the TTS. I don't mind if TTS is on here. We're going into our next game. Hack it with it. We're going to put it on. All right. Wait for the players, and we're going into game number two. I'm going to be streaming late. After this, we're going to be laddering again. I don't know. I'm kind of crazy. We got in into the lower side semifinals. Great games from uh, Classic and Beyond. Let's see. But this is going to be a banger of a finals. Already a great one <clears throat> in game one. Spawning in the bottom right-hand side of Cosmax Sapphire for game number two. From Onside Gaming, it is Solar. <clears throat> I forgot. He's on Onside Gaming now. And his opponent in the upper left representing Shopify Rebellion. It's Beyond in the blue. And again, a DreamHack standings looks like on the NA because Estrella played earlier. Winner of Estrella Solar or winner of Estrella Scarlet uh, advance and Neeb has decimated on the upper bracket. Sadly, triggered and make it well be on going for proxy two racks. Is it going to be proxy three racks? I think it's going to be two racks. Does he go into Reapers? That's the question. Let's keep an eye on the gas. 
I think it's going to be two or three racks. And is Solar going to scout this? Let's take a look at the pathing of the Overlord. Well, we don't know. Uh, it's looking dicey. Does this go over if it goes up a little bit? Nah, it's not going to be scouted so far unless Solar decides to change positioning. Beyond is obviously taking a gambit play doing the Solar. Does not see it so far. All right. Solar just taking his normal uh, gas and pool. Beyond is going into uh, one gas. So we'll see what happens. Just some marine pressure, I think. And Solar is going back for... Is he going to see it on the scout? I don't think so. Ooh, that's actually... Oh, Beyond, I think, was trying to get something a little different going on here. I don't know what that raise was. I think there was a marine stuck. Okay. So that does bite him a bit. The Overlord's not going to scout this. Does he get the bunker up? He's going for a double bunker. Is going to be scouted just at the tail end. We should see a boys pull. Yep. That was a little smidge late. And Bion only is going to have a couple Marines and the SCVs to defend this. He has to be careful to micro this. He wants to get that bunker up. But he also has to keep the Marines alive. Actually, Bion, he could have went down to the choke. Is this going to finish? The bunker finishes. But oh my god, there's Lings out. The drones are all off the map. Three. And more falling. Bion finally loses a Marine. He's going to start losing some more. The SCV is coming in to fight. Bion taking the best fight he possibly can here. Is getting eight workers. Oh, my God. Solar down 13 workers. Bunkers down. But this is enough to out DPS. The bunker. The queen's out. The lings are there. Ling's going to start fighting it. Uh, Bion has to be careful not to lose the SCV. Because he wants a repair. Oh, no. He can't get in. Solar gets a surround on it. He gets a nice cancel. Bion behind it getting the factory. And, yeah, he's just uh, macroing out of this, getting the orbital command. He has done a lot of worker damage, which has forced Solar into a bit of a situation of his own. Beyond going for a low ground CC. He could be a little bit bold, but he's going to lift off and fly away. Going to keep the Marines alive. Honestly, he might want to just go home with them. No metabolic boost from Solar, though, so that's actually going pretty good for him. But there's a decent amount of queens coming out. Uh, that said, there's not a lot of economies for Zerg. Beyond actually is ahead on workers for the moment. And uh, he, he could actually just chill and go home. Solar overextended a little bit. So this puts Beyond in a pretty good advantage. Uh, he is going right into a reactor. He's going to start up some Hellion production most likely. All right. And uh, will the Marines find the Overlord? Yeah, I like this out of Beyond. He is going to use the barracks to scout the Overlord and route back and is going to get a kill. So, though it does delay him a bit. Ooh, Ling is going to be annoying. Ah! Oh, it is killed. So, just a slight delay on the CC for Beyond. Third hatch just now going down for Solar, going into Metabolic Boost, getting Overlords. Uh, just trying his best to rebuild a regular economy. The game's kind of an interesting point now just from how it's almost like a reset. But Bion, speaking of reset, nah, he's going to take these Marines, push across, and probably he's going to defensively use the Hellions. He might push across. Oh, he's got a couple over there now. What was it that died? A mule, I think. Ooh, is he going to force a cancel on the third? Stim is just now going down. This is Stimless Marines. Uh, the Hellions are going to come in too, but actually the Hellions could juke into the natural. Would have been a smarter play for Bion. Oh, Beyond's getting a lot of pressure here. I'd love to see the Hellions going to the natural. That would just be game. I think Beyond might... Yeah, he's going to do it. He forces a cancel. Forces the Lings in. Surprise. There are a lot of Lings, though. Oh, the Hellions really needed to get right in there. Can they find some kills? Unfortunately, a little bit of an anti-timing. They had a, a little window of opportunity to do this. He's going to force another hatch cancel. He's Man, he's really used a lot of energy on these Queens, at least. Stimless Marines... He's traded only two out, but I think everything he's done has been worth it for Bion on uh, the front of that route. He is going to pick up and get out after getting an Overlord. So he's used a ton of energy in the Queens. They were able to get some uh, creep spread out, but let's put Bion in a decent position to stabilize. It really is weird. Games with three racks or two racks can end up in strange spots because it's just a little pressure. It should be just a macro game, but... Zerg could have responded very aggressively and gotten 
a roach warren or something, obviously. But when you've lost that many drones that early, like in total, there's been 10 dr drones down, but eight that early in the game was rough. Oh, Solar is going into a roach tech and going into a lair. Speaking of roaches, Beyond going for a double drop, though, with a tank. All right, so Beyond is going to reuse the tank. Come on out, and let's take a look at what's going down here. Layer coming in. Oh, buddy, three medevac drop with Stim. After burning across, this isn't scouted. Third CC, going to be a component in the wall, and we got marine tank production behind this. So, unfortunately, there's going to be roaches just now started. One Evo chamber going down. Beyond is going to be... Scouted by the Overlord. He's going to afterburn in. There is a Spore Crawler. But a nice Siege Tank here is going to be beautiful for Beyond. The problem is the Roach Ravager coming in. He's going to kill the Spore, get some damage, and maybe even get the pool. Oh, no, but he's... Yeah, okay, he has Stem now, but the tank's going to finish. That's a bit of a problem now that the Roaches are out. Oh, he's going to get the hell out of there, loses the Medivac. Doesn't get the spawning pool. He's going to go right into the third base, however. Some roaches and lings are out. And, uh, yeah. Beyond actually can win this fight. Kills the queen, saving the medevacs. Does have enough energy here. Uh, yeah, he's got enough energy where he can maybe get another stem in a second. GG! Beyond takes game two uh, in this best of five. Oof. All right. We are on to game number three. And this should be a banger. We uh, Both games have been pretty good. All right. Shit, replay stats. I'm sorry, guys. I actually need to get rid of that. I've had some mistakes. All right, here we are on to game number three. Either player needs to win two more games to take the big prize money tonight. Spotting in the upper right-hand corner, Stargazers. Give it up for our Zerg player. It is Solar from Onside Gaming in the red. And his opponent in the upper left, bringing it home with the two racks last game. And with his classic infamous BN drops, it is BN from Shopify Rebellion in the blue. Very good stuff. Uh, we'll see what we got this game. No proxy racks, it would appear, from BN this game. He's going to rely on his... Ability to take a safe third. Solar opening pretty standard so far. Ish. Yeah, there we go. We got some drones coming. Yep. Very standard opener from Mr. Solar. What up, Nika? All right. All right, gas going down. Let's see what we got here. Again, we're going to shake the delay after this is all over. I'm going to probably take a quick little break and we'll be on for more <clears throat> stream stuff. Gas and pool going down. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. A little mining out into the back for Beyond. He's going to set up for a CC in the back, of course. You can do it a little safer with the minerals to protect you for a bit. Solar are not going to do anything cheeky just yet. Thing is about this map with the Zelnaga Watchtower and the uh, low sky space, it both sets up a great spot and at the same time a great defensive ability for uh, scouting drops. And just with one Zergling, you could take the Zelnaga Watchtower or you could even take the Reaper and hold it back. Or a Marine, whatever, just for either pushouts or same mutas in the case of Zerg. 
All right, Solar going for a third hatch. He's going to get it. Beyond not even going to scout it. He's just going right in there, trying to be aggressive. Be Beyond. He's fighting on the creep. Yeah, Solar with his six legs. Oh, he gets this route. I think that's a dead reap. Oh, ho, ho, the Beyond Reaper goes down. All right, like I said, third hatch is down for sure. Beyond's going to start mining this out once that finishes. Overlord going to be deflected for the moment. Beyond just patrol pathing. Yeah, we're going to start seeing that. Look at the timing, how that all just finishes up. Orbital started. First mineral patch mined out. This is all going to be done. He's going to float it over and be in good spot. Third CC going down. He can take a three CC build very safely in this map. Uh, as long as he gets some information. But he lost the Reaper, which uh, could be exploited by Solar. Ling trying to get up the ramp to get some vision as well. Third CC. Oh, he's going to start mining, but hasn't lifted off just yet. Oh, Cargo's going to go all along a pathway. Yeah, he doesn't fix this. Behind it, we got Metabolic Boost finishing up 75% for our Zerg player. Meanwhile, Queens get some decent creep spread out to the third. This early in the game, of course, you're not going to have too much. Uh, and hitting all his injects. We don't have any connecting creep yet between the main and the natural for Zerg. Uh, that Overlord is taking some more damage. Going to go scout this out. He should know what's up. He didn't see a natural base. We're going to see some Hellions try to push out. Queens are going to be in pretty good positions. The hell he's gonna go in. It's gonna be Hellbat Marauder. At least it can cut. Let's see. It should be Hellbat Marauder, but we'll see what uh, Beyon has in store for us. He's pumping out the Hellions. We should see an armory go down in a little bit. There's the medevac. And somewhere in here, there's the armory. No, it's supply depot. Never mind. Beyon not wanted to get supply blocked. Okay. He's gonna be careful not to lose these Hellions. Oh, never mind. He is going to be not as careful. Injuring a queen a little bit, but... Yeah, he doesn't want to take too much damage. Yeah, he's going to force the queens off creep, but they've dropped their creep spread. There's the armory going down, as I said. Going to be a Hellbat Marauder push Tate with a 3cc. Hellion's going to go back. Overlord and retreat. Zerg has not tried taking his own like a watchtower. He's going to go poke in. See what information he can find. Third CC going down, and the medevac is going out with the Hellions. If this is scouted by that Ling, that could be a problem. Oh, it's not going to be. And the armory should finish up right about here. Oh, here we go. Medevac. Oh, the medevac falls. That's very rough for Bion. Kind of a sloppy little uh, engagement right there. Solar is actually taking a good fight there, but he's going to lose a lot of queens. But Beon is starting to trade out rough without that medevac. More Hellbats come in. Well, they're Hellions at first. And only one Marauder, I think, lives. A Marauder and a Marine at, for the rest of it. That is all. He's going to try to clear up some creep. Uh, but that's about it. He's going to get an active tumor. Has to be careful with these queens, but the lings are going in for a run by Hellions. Going to greet them with just a marine. Stim is on the way for a Terran, but we're going into 1-1. One, one. Baneling Nest and Lair for our Zerg player. Very good stuff. All right, we're going to have a little ling a run by down into... Down into it. And you know what? I might actually try to make a thumbnail for this. Because we did just the semis and stuff. I got to think about that. We're going to make a thumbnail for this for YouTube. I'm going to start doing that for some of my VODs. Old or not, maybe you guys want, might want to check them out. We have no thumbnails in mind. Other than the sale thing, I think. Oop. Lots of Hellions, but we got Combat Shields 1-1. One, one, and it's going to... Actually, Beyond's going to be behind on upgrades. Is trying to get a wall. Trying to get a fourth base. Uh, trying to get in position, but... He's just going to have to do the best he can. He's going into Widow Mines this game, which actually is going to be a smart play. It looks like our Zerg player is going Ling Bane. So Widow Mines, uh, I think, are a very smart follow-up, a very safe follow-up. But uh, Bian probably should try to be careful with these Hellions. They still have some value. They could be Hellbats a little after. Just trying to be annoying to Solari, maybe get some creep spread, force some Queens out of energy, and... 
maybe pick off some lings in, in the process. Uh, over, well, Hellbat. Funnily enough, just a Hellbat walking over here. He's going to use that for the Zalnaga. Uh, is going to try to kill some creep tumors. Put some pressure on Solar, kind of hiding his army a little bit. They're trying to. Yeah, look, at he's forcing a lot of lost energy from these transfuses. That's what the plan is for being army supply looking pretty even. Uh, but it's a lot of Ling Bane. However, Widow Mines, again, good unit. He's going into vehicle plating, actually, for the Widow Mines. That Overlord is like the MVP Overlord. Okay, we still have some aliens here. Albat does survive. Beyond coming in with a push. No, he's going to go for a drop into the back. There's no pocket base for Zerg. Uh, Pneumatized Carapace coming in. I hope I didn't lag these guys out. Hopefully it's his client side from being on Asian servers and me being in New York. Oh, the drop is going to go uncontested, but there's a Spore right here. It is not in range of the Medivac. Spore's not going to be in position near the base. And uh, we do have a Widow Mine right here for some defense. Spore Crawler is going to make it exposed. Widow Mine actually just goes for the Queen. Unfortunately, that would have been amazing for all these links here. There is a Marauder in this, and uh, some of the bio is cleaned up. Lair is almost complete. Uh, meanwhile, there's a big Hellbat. Marine Marauder Mine Push in the south side of the map constant sieging re-sieging of the widow mines there's an overseer with this army and there's one land oh not the greatest shots they don't hit the banelings but a lot of the lings go down uh we got some halbats to tank the banes they're not the greatest at it marauders kind of a little better i guess but considering the cost they're certainly better than losing all your marines beyond does save the marines and with that said he goes in with a nice drop in the back but he's gonna have a little bit of trouble being surrounded the queens are out of position only one right there helping the fight does clear one of the evo chambers and uh looked like he did deny carapace plus two that's actually pretty good he at least denied one of the upgrades for the zerg so they're no longer uh synchronized for the moment don't have another evo chamber going down carapace is on the way for a zerg now he's gonna go two two uh, as a result, Bion microing the medevacs as good as he can. Looks like he's in a lot of trouble with that medevac, but it's just to be annoying and the main engage in the center is going on. <clears throat> we still got some nice Widow Mines in here. Overseers still alive. Widow Mine going to help the fight a little. Not getting the best value, uh, but it is going to help as the Zerg has to retreat. Fifth CC going down for Bion, by the way. Taking a fourth base orbital. Uh, and this, he's not going for a planetary, so that's a little defenseless. But in a way, I don't hate it economically. Hey, hey, hey. Who wants to have some fun? Hey, thanks for the raid, the big Caesar. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Anyway, this is uh, we're on a two-minute delay. If somebody wants to shout out the big Caesar, appreciate it. Uh, we're in a beat of. Trouble here. Oh, I'm getting some lag again. Doesn't look like we dropped any more frames. I hope it isn't affecting the players. Let's see. The great and big... Hey, what up, Craig? How you doing? Hope you had a fantastic stream. Again, sorry. Let's me keep an eye on this for drop frames because I'm worried I'm lagging them. Uh, yeah, it's a server side. And... In game labs, a thing too, but I was I did lose the internet for a little bit earlier, so don't mind me, guys. Thank you again. Make sure you follow the big Caesar again. If somebody could shout him out, that'd be fantastic. Oh, Medivac's in trouble. Oh, a bunch of the bios going down, and well, just narrowly survives. He's gonna get a few drones for trouble. Eight fall down at the bottom. Scrappy engagement. The Widow Mines land. No, the Banelings connect and clean them all the hell up. Solar with a good fight. Uh, certainly more in his favor there now with 120 army supply. Let's take a look at the army graph. Income advantage is in favor of solar. Army graph in favor of solar. And upgrades. Uh, Bion actually did a good job. He's going into range attacks. Adaptive talent. So we're into lurkers. And Bion does not... It has transitioned to ghosts. Okay, he has transitioned to ghosts. So we still have a game going. That's actually a clutch thing. In this game, Bion's economy is a lot better he has saved it for a bit. That's a lot of Zerg coming in. The Widow Mine. Does it land? Nope. It's going to get... To, yeah, that vehicle plating actually helping out a bit. You can see that Widow Mine tanking a couple bailing hits. 
Uh, Marines, oh, look like they're in a lot of trouble. Beyond losing a lot of army supply. And nice parasitic bombs all around from Solar, who hasn't even had to go into Lurkers. He's now just hitting with Lingbane Hydra. GG is called, and Solar takes game number two. Yeah. Very good. Very good a game. Why the hell are my lights not on in my... Hmm. I was thinking it was a little darker here. So, Stolar needs one more map to win. Uh, that said, we shall see what happens. And here we are, moving on in. <clears throat> hey, we got some people here starting to come in. Guys, after EPT, I'm going to be streaming again. I'm going to remove the delay. So Raiders, if you click on the name, if you're hanging out, we'll be uh, back to regular stream. I'm mostly to do sleep. Oh. Looks like we had a lobby problem. And yeah, just bear with us. We're going to be on to our fourth map. Seller wins this. He uh, wins the tournament. Beyond needs two more. Oops. Great cast. Thank you, Craig. I'm hoping to improve and, uh, you know, you know how it be. Well, it looks like we got problems yet again. You love the way I like call him solar instead of solar. I think it's cooler. I know it's solar, but I say solar because you say tomato, I say tomato, I say forget about it. Yeti spaghetti. And how about Maru winning the last one? Hey, how you doing, Frosty Phoenix? What's up, brother? Aw, oh, man, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Shit. I'm going to be up for some time, guys. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying. 2 o'clock in the morning means no Kirktown. But I, I have to stay up fucking... I might have to swing a full time. 4,300? Yeah. I, I have my... Suspicions. I was I, Yeti. I stayed up so late. I actually hung out with Billy Utters, Benja, Slip Jip, and some other guy uh, in the Bing Bong Exports Discord. We should hang out in there sometime. Anyway, I actually had this correct. Spawning in the. Oops. Let's get this fixed. Let's get this fixed here. Spawning in the upper right hand corner of Data Seed. These nuts in the red. It is Onside Gaming Solar. Mister Zerg. Needs one point to win. And his opponent in the bottom left. It is Shopify Rebellions Beyond. Can he come back two games? And take it for Terran. When's the next guitar stream? I'll play some guitar tonight. Uh, I want to play a little more and get a little practice. I might embarrass myself a bit. Uh, I'm certain to play some guitar tonight. Beyond with the early... This is for a little closer Reaper. 
So he's got his barracks in an interesting position, but I'm curious to see if he does something a little different. Does he go into a 2 one one the unsetting camera locations. Do you guys love how we get the pro map stuff here? We can see what the players are on. I still have my mod for the pro tour, so uh, that may still be showing up here in parts of the map with the ESL pro tour stuff, as you know. 4,300. But Benjo is talking, too. We Like, Slip Chip's like, yo, I take a break, and then I come back after. I'm, if I took, like, a week off StarCraft, right? Two weeks off StarCraft. I think my brain would just be processing all the information from all the tournaments and the break on my hands, the break on everything coming in refreshed, I think I would probably push into well into Masters. We were like laughing. I'm like, maybe even Grandmasters because it's been no breaks for all this time. And I have time to just do nothing but think of build orders and situations. And probably just start writing them down. Anyway... I'll come back and I'm a Terran player. No, I'm just kidding. Excellent. Good to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out here. Thank you for the kind words, Frosty Phoenix, too. And Greg and everybody. Do appreciate it when you guys enjoyed the cast. Oh, Drone barely saved, but he's going to lose some minerals. Does he have to? Is he going to say? Oh, Beyond's actually right on top of this with the Reaper. Forced in a lot of lost value. Oh my god, that actually is worth. He's even gonna get. Is he gonna get a lane? Nope. Does he? Oh, he saved the Reaper though. That actually cost 60 minerals for Solar. So though he didn't get a kill, he might as well have. That's a lot of lost mining time. Mess with the supply, forcing a double extractor trick because an Overlord, I believe, may have. No, no Overlord went down. That just messed with Solar so bad. And uh, Beyond just being damn annoying with that Reaper. Beyond already, you can just tell he wants that win. Oh, he's going to get surrounded by the Lings, and he's not going to be too greedy. This time, he knows he's got to keep that Reaper alive. This is Beyond we're talking about here, guys. That said, uh, yeah, I should probably slow down. Nah, there we go. We're going to do a little more scroll wheel slower. I'm going to be working on my obs work more and more. Usually, what happens is my hand misses it. But anyway. Creep tumor is going to go down. Nice catch for Bion. Bion is just keeping that Reaper busy working, but metabolic boost is coming in, so he might lose it. He may take it and uh, go to his Elnaga. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it looks like he is going to do that. Going to send a few Hellions out. Overlord does scout it. No, he's going to push with the two Hellions and a Reaper. Maybe get a bomb in, but there's no drones over here yet. Just one. Uh, so it is not a big deal. Cloak Banshee opener from Bian. The old faithful 3cc Cloak Banshee from the Bianator. Uh, I mean, I, I, a couple days off even would be fantastic. When I get back to work, I'm really thinking that's going to be it. But we'll see. Maybe I'll surprise everybody. When you don't see me on Twitch for a bit, then you'll know. After years of non-stop twitch streaming oh my god this is all cleaned up but four drones fall not really worth it for Bion, to say the least but he did disjoint i think all the like earlier stuff definitely helped out overlord gonna go down though it is gonna be a little helpful but solar is picking up a bit of a lead now that he's scouted this he's gonna get into a layer he knows and get those spores solar knows the build he knows there's a banshee coming cloak is not quite available yet but Bion may get a little bit of damage here. That spore is certainly going to finish by the time this Banshee makes it, though. I believe all three. It's amazing how quick these guys drop the spores even. Not these guys, Solar, but all, a lot of players we have. They're just so good. It's like mini GSL sometimes here on EPT Asia. Oh, getting a nice lit. Yeah, that's what we want to see. The drone's getting intercepted in pathing. He's going to force and lost mining time. Does get some of this. Oh, pot shot on the queen. So many queens, though. Beyond has to be careful. He's not overcommitted to Banshees. He does have another one joining the group. He can use them to be annoying. Uh, maybe force some transfuses. Whatever. Scout. More Hellions coming out to join the fight. Stim is going to finish in 1 1 on the way for Beyond. 
All right, it's going to be a Marine tank push for sure. Double Evo just finishing up for Zerg. Centrifugal hooks already on the way, though. So this is going to be a lot quicker uh, bailing speed. A lot quicker bailing speed for Solar. Yeah, Banshee's trying to be annoying. Overseer's right on top of him. And uh, yeah, nice little wall off from Beyond, but it's not going to do much against Banelings. That's just going to get busted. It's not even a full wall yet, but he's grouping in a uh, defensive position a little bit. The Banshee's trying to find some... Oh, we get seven drones! Never mind! That is worth it. I totally missed that, but beautiful play from Beyond with the cloaked Banshees. He's going to want to try to keep them together, though, for now. Nice little contingent up. Army supply in favor of Beyond. But Solar is up to 78 drones. Even with the 7 killed there, uh, in total, we had 14 drones killed. And Solar is just a printer of drones. He's only had 4 hatches, though. So Beyond has kind of messed with his economy a little bit. In, in, in terms of production and stuff. And some of it's his map, because you got to be extra safe on taking your bases. Like, you... 12 o'clock is, well, I'll call it 12, is probably the safer bet for Zerg. Uh, but Solar is producing uh, units now. He's got some Banes in production. Beyond should probably capitalize. He's not doing anything. He's focused on the Banshees trying to get some value. But he really should have just jumped right on this. And his opportunity, nice tank positioning, but does set himself up for wraparound potential. Oh, my God, the Banes in leagues. He's still on creep. Can Beyond save this? There's that surround I was talking about on the tank. The tank does get some decent shots. Does it get one more? Actually, yeah, getting some links. Nice drop after most of the Banes are taken care of. The tank actually does some good value. 1-1 uh, one, one is finishing up for Solar. Beyond not going into 2-2. Two, two. I might want to start those upgrades right the hell now. He's on 3 base satur. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's oversaturated. Wouldn't hate a 4cc as well. I know it's a lot going on, but... He really should probably consider a fourth CC, I'd imagine. But it is three to four bases, so actually he's going to keep enough pressure on. It is going into two, two. Solar just started plus two melee. He was a little behind on his carapace, consequently from how the game's going. Bane Link's not quite done. Some of them are going to finish up on the right side. But now there's a lot of Link Bane. Beyond may be forced to pick up. There's a lot of Queens right here. All the energy is mostly gone from the Queens. Beyond needs to get the hell out of there. Uh, not really splitting the great. Okay, okay. Banshee helps pick off one of the queens, too. There's not a lot of energy left. Like I said, so the transfuses are done. Some creep spreads denied. And the Zerg is coming in for a full 360 surround. Banshee still putting in the work. But oh, Beyond loses so much bio right there. He's still ahead in army supply. Medivacs are getting drained and actually damaged quite a bit. This Banshee with 13 kills still lives slightly. And it's actually helping the fight a little bit at a time. And you know what? That Banshee certainly got its value. That should get a hero award. Can Beyond bring us to game number five? Are we going to see a Terran victory after all? Potentially. Beyond on this three base push. It's going so well for him now. Even with the rough trade. He's coming in strong and he takes game number four. Yeah, this is the final. So we have one more game left. And I'm going to have to be mindful to you guys for the stream delay. What a banger that was. Because I'm going to end my stream delay after. This should make a nice little VOD. I'm going to have to do a little high. No, actually, I won't have to do a highlight. So I'll be able to go all right here and guys also if you want to support the stream you may see something on my stream i think it's starting to deploy out i was wrong it's not for twitch partners just i think oh good all right so i'm mindful to the delay so after when i lose the delay we'll be in good shape this is the last game of the evening and my cats are looming around in the background a bit game Numero five incoming. And let us go. This one is going to be on inside and out. Nice uh, five game finals. I just did the semifinals. Not a lot of players. Asia usually doesn't, but tonight there was a very short amount of players. Uh, but still, I just covered the semis, the final. Tis what it is. 
We had enough coverage tonight anyway, so they can deal with it anyway. Here we go. It is match point spawning in the upper right-hand corner of inside. Now, as I said, in the red, it is our onside gaming Zerg player, Solar. And his opponent in the bottom left coming in. Steaming more confident the last two games. Give it up for Shopify Rebellions, Bion. Let's see. I, I think a lot can be dictated by Bion based on his Reaper control. If he opens with a Reaper fast expand, uh, he's going to have to probably change it up a bit. He didn't find much value and Stargazers with the Hellbat Marauder. Solar at the same time can bring out something cheeky this game, but I don't think we're going to see that. Looks like he's just setting up for a standard opener again. Beyond not coming in with the proxy racks in this game. Honestly, this map's pretty bad for this level for proxy racks, in my opinion, because there's so many good... These guys have so many good guides and know the Overlord uh, pathing. Like, look at this. Yeah, Solar's doing, like, what Lambo does, right? Like, Lambo had a guide on this, like Renegade was saying. There's like a perfect scout path, like the proxy Rex. Uh, you can still get some cheeky ones in because with the two overlords, it's just not the greatest proxy Rex map. So we're not going to see that any anyway. So it's in inconsequential Reaper on its way out. It's going to be Reaper expand from Bion. Well, that's it. We'll see what we got going on here. All right, Reaper is coming out. Let's see Beyond's Reaper control. Yeah, again, nothing cheeky from Solar. Probably going to go take his third. Beyond's not going to go scout for it again. He's just going to try to find some value, I'm sure. Getting situated. I'm curious to see what builds we get. Zerg opening standard. Solar usually gets six lings, so we might see another set of lings come out here. Uh, as we had in basically every previous game. Yep, there you go. There's a six set of lengths, like I said. You know, that how Solar sets up? I really feel like Beyond should be going after that third. He could have denied a lot uh, in all the games. I don't think he's getting as much value this time. Has to be careful. The Queen's going to pop, and that's... Uh, yeah, that Reaper's taking a lot of damage. Okay, he just barely saves it and hesitates for a moment because he is macroing out of this a little bit just now getting to the point where he had to drop the reactor got his factory down a bit ago that said full scouts coming in and Bion is going to try to push up here oh, does get a ling for his troubles but probably is taking a little bit of an uh yeah a little misclick here on the reaper because yeah he's going to be focusing on macro i don't know if this is worth it he is keeping solar busy though if he can multitask as well he is He's fine. Just something to point out here. Let's take a look at the APM of these guys right now. Yeah, he's keeping uh, Solar's heart pumping. Vian doesn't really have to be going much faster than that right now. And there you have it. It's the 1 1 1. Starting up, we got the Hellions coming. Uh, Tech Lab. We're going to see Banshees again. Third CC is almost done. And it's hidden from the Overlord scouting, potentially. Uh, we do have the Marine to deflect. Very good stuff. Deflect the Overlord from coming in. Oh, that is one surrounded Reaper. But you know what? That Reaper did a pretty good job, I'd say. Not the greatest, not the worst. He had a decent life for his short. His short one. All righty, we got a Viking opener. Is it going to go scout around for the Overlord? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, we got Simmarines, Hellions coming out. Don't think it's going to be too anything too crazy. That is one dead overlord, though. Two marines and a viking's going to make short work of it. And uh, there we go. Tech lab. Two barracks coming down. And a reactor on the starport. So it looks like classic be on play. Don't think we're going to see any... Uh, obviously, no cloak banshee this game. But Bion did find some good success like that. Let's see. It's all our drop and spore. He's just one spore. Okay. So he doesn't think it's uh, Cloak Banshees this game. He's getting one spore in case. You know how this Beyond get it? Yeah, he does. He's going to retreat. Just taking a little bit of damage with the Viking. Uh, has potential to get... No, he doesn't actually. Now there's a poor Spore Crawler there. He's going to try to find some collateral damage. And meanwhile, push out with four Hellions. He's making a little bit of a wall down in the natural, as we would expect. 
Uh, Solar with his cheeky one scouting wing and Beyond going to be a little bit of annoying in a presence with these Hellions. Oh, I don't like this, though. Beyond not paying attention for a second. Takes a little bit of damage in the Hellions. Uh, but he's not really at a point where... Yeah, he could might have been able to get a cheeky scan out if he can find some stuff to get a couple creep tumors. It's really not worth it at this point, I don't think, though. It's a lot of queens. He, he knows where they're basically heavily focusing on creep tumors. All right, so we are going to have a Roach Warren this time from our Zerg player. It's going to be ranged attacked and carapace now if this was maru uh solar would probably be in trouble with that carapace uh because you know he'd probably be going mech <laughs> so we'll see what happens but this could be actually a bit of a problem for bian but he's getting marine tank uh but it's likely to be ravs so that could be a problem for at the same time fourth hatch going down pretty soon here for solar Yep, yeah, yeah, there it is. And uh, we are going to have 1-1 one, one. combat shields on the way for Bion. Stim's completed. Tanks are out. Marines are out. He's getting an armory. Has the medevacs. He's going to be ready to hop into 2-2 two, two after. Bion going for that little drop. Fully loaded and ready to go with the Viking. Hellion's still out on the map. as a bit of a presence. Uh, no Banelings this game, but the Lings are going to go in for try attempting a little scout here. Overseer over here. And yeah, this is going to be picked off this wall. But Bian is going to focus on the drop. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I would hope he gets a cancel. Okay, tank is uh, pushing forward. Going to deflect some of this. Bian is going to try to continue the wall. T Sank is siege, but a little too late. Oh, the SCVs try to repair it. And it barely lives. Bian getting a drop in, but that spore crawler coming in clutch. Oh, no, the roaches are scouted. But you know what? Just too little... 1-1's one, about to complete for Beyond, but that's a too big of a Roach Rav armored army. He's going to try to go down, but there's a lot of queens. He has to be careful. This drops two Marines. He's going to focus fire some drones. Uh, Transfuse is focused on the drones. God damn, these guys are so good. Like, that is such a good... Good bunch of micro from Solar right there. And Beyond as well, obviously. Dropping just two Marines out, trying to be annoying. At least he's forced energy. Didn't get worker kills, but there's a Roach Ravager push with 1-1 one, one finishing up as well. There are some siege tanks in the high ground. We got Hellbats, we got Marines. We don't see any Marauders in production. But uh, I would like to see Beyond cheek out a couple of Marauders. Uh, one of the medevacs really damaged, but it only has one Marine in it. But Beyond's going to try to go find some damage again, I'm sure of it. Yeah, he's going to go right into the main. There's no Spore. That catch on the Spore Crawler is actually really good, but this Roach Ravager headbutt is going to come in and maybe, just maybe get right in there. No, he's not. Tank's going to deflect a little bit. The stem at bio is going to have to be careful of the, uh, a lot of this. Drop is deflected yet again. There's a lot of queens that deflect over here. Does Beyond land? Nope. He's going to get the hell out of there, and he may just save this medevac, forcing the Roach Rav army to go back. All right, that said, we got melee and carapace coming. Melee plus one, carapace plus two, and a baneling nest, which is much later this time with an infestation pit. Whoa. All right, we don't have a 4cc for Bion, and there's a lot of rocks getting chopped down from our Zerg player, so we can spread some creep, but Bion's going to jump right on top of this army. Oh, doesn't want to eat these Biles, though. Viking even narrowly dodges the corrosive Biles uh, from Solar. Medevac just barely makes it out after all that drop damage. Let's take a look at the trades. Oh, Bion loading up, but the Roach Inquisition is here. Uh, that Medevac is going down. Sensor Tower, kind of a bold move, but... There are some siege tanks here. They're kind of on the low ground. Is there going to have like high ground advantage, sort of? Uh, Biles landing randomly, trying to just be annoying to Bion, I guess. Bion going to immediately go for a drop with three medevacs. Fully loaded and good to go, going into 2-2. Two -two. Uh, and vehicle weapons plus one. I like the vehicle weapons. There we go. We're starting to see one Marauder production come out. Bion going to a 4CC. Three more racks. Oh, buddy. You gotta love it. Vikings even going to uh, kind of patrol with the medevacs, giving them a little escort with a couple marines in case of any nuisance. Uh, centrifugal hooks is on the way for a Zerg player, and goddamn, this is this is a uh, certainly a good finals. This drop, oh my god, such a sexy drop! Eleven drones and counting. Does the hive that's getting morphed get killed? Yes, it does. We're immediately seeing a layer start up. Or is that another layer? No, yeah, it's just a layer being remade. One medevac drops, but that was totally worth it for Bion. 
incredible uh, decision. Like, who just YOLO drops randomly? Like, that was such a good decision. The Roach Rab push was out, and Beyond just goes for it. Uh, that said, let's see if there's any Banes already made. Only nine centrifugal hooks finishes for our Zerg. He does have plus one melee, but so it's not like that nasty plus two melee with it, but does have two carapace. Oh, he's taking the bait. There's just so many tanks. Biles are not. Look at the tank spread. It's so good. It's going to really do some damage. Oh, but those two Biles landing really, really hot and hard here. Beyond going in to kill the Baneling Nest now. Potentially more tech forcing Solar to come back. Does he get a lift? Okay, Beyond pays attention last minute. Trades some Marines for Banes. Actually, amazing trades. Gets the Baneling Nest. Could actually go for the infestation pit before the hive was down. That would have been even bigger brain. But Beyond is going to lose it. It looks like he's not paying attention to this because he's pushing to the northwest flank. He's getting some good trades here, though. The army supply dwindling for Solar as Beyond pushes this base finishes. He's even lifted some tanks in position. Oh, buddy. Beyond has actually done insane amounts of damage he's gonna pick up and get the hell out of here after taking the northwest base it's three bases the four bases planetary fortress is finished but zerg is approaching in beyond's gonna stem forward and try to jump on top of this cleaning up some ravagers cleaning up some roaches but he's gonna watch out for the link bane only a couple banelings not doing a damn thing and beyond has yeah we have a remade baneling nest we are going to have a layer again because the infestation pit that was not taken out that could have even bought him basically would have secured the position to win in my opinion because we couldn't see late game zerg tech or even infestors if that was a, a possibility my god this is a banger and yeah this is something else lots of creep spread getting killed and yeah look at this tank count though Holy shit, 11 tanks. We don't have lurkers out. This is actually okay. I mean, Ravagers are quite annoying, but the tank spread. Beyond can start pushing forward a little more at a time. He's cleared out a ton of creep. Clearing bases. He's again putting pressure over here. Solar double expanding or not. It's going to be rough for him, but he's got a lot of banes coming in to clean us up. Luckily, the Marauders are in the front. Beyond. I think he's just doing it. Again, I wouldn't hate to see some of those tanks that are in there. He's just got... There's so much going on for both these guys, but he secured such a good spot. This CC going down behind us is fantastic. The Roaches, the Ravagers getting cleaned up. Those Banelings are a bit of a problem, but there's a pretty decent Marauder count. Ghost Academy even going down. Ultra Cavern attempted from our Zerg player. Oh, yeah, the Marauders are eating a lot of the Banes. The tanks helping out in the fight. Corrosive Biles do clean up some of this, but it is GG. Beyond destroys in game number five oh, taking the finals what a game thank you jay dong's thong welcome guys again i'm gonna add uh remove the delay here once we catch up gee geez flapjack what up so we'll be losing the delay here Bear with me.